Stripper from J for Life Fashion, and I'm glad to be back with a DIY this time. I feel like I haven't done a DIY for you guys in forever because it literally has been forever. So I'm very excited to be back with a DIY. So today's DIY is actually, um, uh, what should I call it? A DIY letter made out of tissue paper. <laughs> I don't really have a title for it quite yet, but I'll think of one. And whatever this video is titled is what I thought of. But for now, in this video footage, I'll call it a letter made out of tissue paper. So that's today's video. Um, I'm very excited because I think it adds a nice spring touch to your room. It's very personalized as you can pick any letter or any colors you want. So I'm very excited. So let's just jump right into it. Alright, so let's get started. So first off, what you want to do is grab your pencil or pen and roughly sketch out the letter you are planning to decorate. So I am actually sketching out a J here. Um, it's a very rough sketch. It doesn't really matter how perfect it is because it's going to get covered anyways. As long as it looks like the letter, then you're pretty much good. <laughs> Once you are done sketching it out, you can go ahead and grab your exacto knife and start cutting it out. Be super careful because an exacto knife can be super, super sharp, and it's really hard to cut foam core or even um, cardboard. So just be really careful. Take your time. I actually had to go over it twice to get it out completely. Um, yeah, you don't have to cut perfectly as well. I know that corners or not corners, uh, curves and stuff like that can be very very hard to cut out uh, especially with an exacto knife so it could be rough it doesn't really matter because like I said before you're just going to cover it up as long as it looks like the letter you're pretty much good so here's my cutout it's a bit rough around the edges but it will do since it'll get covered now all you want to do is grab your tissue paper and fold it in half the long way so with I believe that's the hot dog way, not hamburger. <laughs> so that's what you want to do first. And now you want to kind of make a paper fan out of it. So you know, you fold it like inwards and outwards, inwards and outwards. You know like when you're a kid and you made like a fan out of paper because you thought that would protect you from heat? That's basically what you're doing here but with tissue paper. So you want to do that to the entire tissue paper. Now that you are done creating your little paper fan, um, you can go ahead and fold it in half just so you know where the center is, just so that it's all symmetrical I guess. So you can go ahead and fold it in half and what you want to do there, after you fold it in half and made like a crease, you can go ahead and grab your scissors and just snip right there so that you have two mini fans. Alright, so once you have these two little paper mini fans, you can go ahead and grab your string and what you want to do is find the center of that fan or that paper tissue tissue paper thing. <laughs> so all you want to do is repeat the exact same steps. You want to fold it so that you can find the center and create a crease. And what you want to do from there is grab your string and all I'm doing here is just tying it up right in the middle, nice and tight and secure. So I did what did I do? I think I did like a triple knot, like just to be extra safe. But really, a uh, double knot's fine. Just pull it super tight. And once you are done tying it up, you can go ahead and spread it out like this. And now you have this circular thing that looks pretty too. But um, that's not the look we're going for for this DIY. So what you want to do after you've spread it out, you want to um, separate the two layers. Because remember, we folded it all that fun stuff so you all you want to do is pull the two layers apart be kind of careful just because tissue paper is very lightweight and rips easily but um it honestly does not matter too much because 
again, it kind of, you won't even notice the difference if there is a rip or a tear here and there. So just pull it apart, do your thing. And now all you want to do is kind of adjust it so you hide the string a little bit. And once you are done creating a bunch of these little flowers, you can go ahead and just glue it right on. And um, all I'm doing here is just gluing it and holding it down a little bit just so that, um, just to make sure it stays in place, you know? Because sometimes uh, glue cannot be trusted. <laughs> and here's my dog video bombing my video. I didn't realize he was actually in the clip, so um, yeah, I'm sorry if he's distracting. You can't really see him, kind of. But anyways, I'm just, you know, doing a little pattern here, you know, light pink and dark pink taking turns. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm doing from here. All you gotta do is glue it and you're basically all done. video I hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely had a lot of fun making it I definitely loved how it turned out I think it adds a nice spring and personal touch to my room and I hope you guys try it out because like I said it's very spring it's very pretty and cute and easy and inexpensive so I think you guys should definitely try it out um, if you like it please do like the video comment down below um yeah I don't really know what else to say I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time bye <laughs> Let me adjust my, fix my hair, put my hair on. Ooh, ooh.